Welcome back. Um, the saint for today is Saint Gor Gor Mine Cousin and Virgin. Um, and today is June fifteenth. <coughs> Here we go. From her birth in 1579 until her death in 1601, the short life of this remarkable servant of God will was filled with sickness and suffering. Her right hand was withered and paralyzed at birth, and she later suffered from sorrow. <coughs> <clears throat> she she lost her mother when she was still only a child. Never known affection after her father was subjected to constant mistreatment by her stepmother and was denied a real place on her own in the family house. She was we we did we lifted to tending sheep around the surroundings of uh, surrounding areas of Talos, France, and per, particularly forbidden to come into contact with her step brothers and stepsister. However, Saint Gorman's inner life was the ex exact opposite. Her pure soul was in constant touch with her maker who had led her to high, to the highest of professions. Her only book was the Rosary, which was rejoiced in recounting every day. Nor could anything delete her from taking part at daily mass. It was even reported that she once had walked over f flood waters to reach the church in time. Saint Garmin's burning love for Jesus spilled over into love of her neighbors. She often gathered the local children <coughs> about her and taught them the rendiments of the faith and she fed the poor with crisps of dry bread that were dwelled out to her once her stepmother arguably accused the saint of stealing bread and hiding it in her apron but when the apron was open it exposed a bunch of beautiful summer flowers after half a century after about a half a century after her death at the age of 21 her body was found to be incorrupted that means that her body did not decay and her body is smelled like roses or like flowers and the skin was still there her hair was still there, her nails were there, you couldn't see any bones. That's what incorrupted means. And when exposed for a year, it became the object of venturation and the source of miracles. She was canonized in 1867 by Pope Pius IX. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord God, you showed heavenly gifts on Saint Garmin's the Virgin. Help us to imitate her virtues during our earthly life and enjoy in eternity happiness with her in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.